All right, we'll uh, we'll go right into the men's team. Rage of Cajuns, ten straight. You know, I told you guys a couple weeks ago. I said they win the first few on this road trip. They're going to win ten in a row. Can they win eleven in a row? Well, battle for sole possession of first place will be this Thursday at Hattiesburg. But here to talk about all that is the head coach of Louisiana Rage of Cajun men's basketball, Bob Marlin. Good morning, Coach. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great, Scott. How are you this morning? I'm doing I'm doing great, man. I was uh I was I was I was in the crowd Saturday night. I wasn't down on, you know, where where we sit with the press. But uh I had the family, I had the kids out, you know. They liked the fabulous Cajun chicken and uh I, I enjoyed them as well. Uh, you know, Russell does a great job. But I, I, I love what I saw on the floor, man. Um, you know, some outside of turnovers in the first half, I mean you guys Played so well and and really I thought owned the paint and Jordan Brown was tremendous. But more than anything, I was a Marshall team that you know one one game behind you on the standings heading into it. You win by double digits. You protect home court and the atmosphere, coach. It was it was outstanding, man. I mean that's that's home court advantage which y'all had on Saturday night. Well, it was really a great thing to see, Scott. I'm glad your your children enjoyed the game and saw so many kids there uh, these last two games and and adults as well, right? Because a lot of people want to come back and see the chicken. But, right. uh, it was a great atmosphere and uh, our guys did a good job. We played solid basketball. We jumped on them on the glass. Beat them 47-25. Jordan Brown, I rebounded their whole team in the first half, 14-11. And that kind of set the tone for the game and that along with great defense uh, Helped us go wire to wire against Marshall. Yeah, they they had no answer for Jordan uh, in the first half, and he finishes with twenty six and twenty. Not to say he didn't have a good second half, but uh, you know he was he was unstoppable in the first half. And Greg Williams, the way he's played this year, coach, we've talked about it. Uh, he was tremendous. His, you know, his uh, it was a game where you know maybe it, it wasn't the strongest performance from the three point line or free throw line but because you guys were so good in the paint it it didn't really matter and you guys have had games where you've done really well in in those two spots so heading into this 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 stretch that you're about to go into i mean that this is as big a game as we've had in the sun belt in a long time coming up thursday you know you and southern myth both sitting at the top sole possession of first place you got them earlier this year you're two games up on everyone else but it's it's a tight cluster in there. Seeding is going to be very important for this conference tournament. In your mind, what's what's the thing that, you know what, we have to do this this particular thing well if we want to go into Hattiesburg like we did last year and get out with a victory? We'll have to play good basketball for sure. Uh, we play good basketball on the road, Scott, and you've heard me say this many times. It doesn't matter where you play. It's how you play. And we know we've got a good team. Uh, and Marshall came in our environment. We're going to try and go into Southern Miss's environment. We're going to have to play like we played the other night and like we've been playing. Uh, Austin Crowley is a really good guard, an all-conference guard, and we limited him to 14 points in the first game. He got several late, and then we gave Philippe Hasse, who's another real big gun for those guys, about 6'11", 245. We held him to nine, and... Uh, we're going to have to defend those guys again. We're going to have to play great defense and it should be an exciting game. And, you know, we're second in the country, Scott, and, and wins away from home. So we, we have done a good job on the road and we'll have to go play well in one this one. Seven and four on the road, undefeated at home. Uh, overall, you guys are, are 20 and four. Southern Miss is uh, they. I don't think they've lost since they played you guys. They're winners of seven straight. I mean, it was it, you guys beat them by fourteen. Uh, it was a month ago. But what what do you take away from that earlier matchup? Can you take anything away from that earlier matchup and uh, utilize it coming up here Thursday? Well, we've watched the film. Our guys do a great job uh, in, in our office watching film, breaking things down. We've done that Sunday, Monday. Last night I watched the first game again and just have to continue to, to look and see. There'll be a couple of things that we might be able to do differently. Uh, they've added a player that was injured the first time we played him. He's a guard. Uh, brings a lot of 
the excitement to their team and try to get the crowd going, try to make some home run plays. And we got to make sure that that doesn't take place. But should should be a great crowd. I know they're trying to get as many people as they can there at Reed Green, and we've got a bus going over. Uh, anyone that wants to jump on the bus can look at LouisianaAlumni.org and uh, fill out a form and jump on there. I think there's only like 40-something seats, and it was filling up rapidly last night. That's a, that's a good thing. Go check it out. Uh, get on the road and, you know, um, seeing that, that student section and uh, and the fans making the noise they were Saturday, uh, it was it was awesome. More of that for sure. Uh, whether it be home or road. Coach, before I let you go, man, um, in, in your years at UL, and, you know, you've been coaching a long time, but in your, in your tenure with Louisiana, where would you rank this year's team as far as chemistry goes? It'd be one or two. I, th- I think I've had three or four really good teams, but this one's one or two. And they're just unique. They're, all of them are different. Scott, that's the beautiful thing about coaching. Uh, to me, it's like raising children. You love them. You, you get frustrated with them. Uh, you have to get after them sometimes. Uh, but but that's that's the beauty of it because it, when it all comes together, it's really a, a, a great fit. And you can sit back as a coach and really let it run itself at times. Uh, and that's what this group has done. Uh, you know, the, the two teams, two teams in the top uh, that have 20 wins. There's 10 teams that have 20 wins, Scott, in, in the country. And two of them are playing Thursday night. And, you know, we're number th- three in the mid-major poll right now behind St. Mary's and Gonzaga. And then Southern Miss is sixth. So, and Marshall's still ranked in there, too. So, uh, this is a big game for us. We're excited about it. I've, I'm going to have a bunch of high school friends and, and college friends that live in Jackson or, or on the coast are going to come. Uh, and it'll be a great atmosphere. Yeah, it's it's as big a Sunbelt game as, as there's been in a long time, to your point, Coach. And uh, 7.30 tip scheduled, uh, 7 o'clock pregame. Jay Walker will have it over on our sibling station, News Talk 96.5 KPL. But, uh, Coach Marlin, it's it's been great uh, getting to know you over. Jeez, man, I, I was I think I might have still been in my twenties the first time I met you. So, uh, wishing you nothing but the best, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you around around town and uh, and at the cage and know from time to time. But uh, good luck the rest of the way this season, and I I appreciate you spending a lot of time on this show over the years. No, it's been my pleasure, Scott. I think a mutual friend introduced us when I first came here and uh, we've had a, a solid relationship since uh, besides you trying to get me to sing on the radio one time um, and you know the song I'm talking about everything else has been lovely I, and, I, uh, I wish you the, I, <laughs> I wish you the best and I hope your family uh, continues to come to games bring bring those kids to the game and uh, we, we need that excitement I think they enjoy it as well is that are you are you ready to forgive me yet or no? Uh, I'll forgive you if you don't play it again. All right, how about just one more time? Because no, no, I, I know I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> just Keith, one more time because I'm I'm going to be going away. Like no one's ever going to hear it again I'm, after I'm, today, I'm, Coach. I'm, 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 uh, that's the whole plan. I'm hanging <laughs> up. Okay. All the best, Coach. Thank you. All right, Scott. See Louisiana you. head Bye. basketball coach Bob Marlin and the Cajuns are uh, are rolling right now. And I love how he blames me and not Jay Walker at all. Like, yeah, it was my idea, but listen to this clip and no, and, and no, act no, like no, don't do it. act like act like don't Jay. Do it. The man said, "Don't do it." No, he he just said he was going to hang up. Now. No, no, he said, he's, uh, he's said "What you going to do with all that junk? All the junk inside your trunk." Now, isn't that a great lyric? Don't you wish you had thought of that? Oh, yeah. I'm I'm a get, get, get you drunk. Get you love drunk off my hump. My hump, my hump, my hump, my hump, my hump. <laughs> One time I, 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 I was talking to him and Should I was like. Should be pointed out, coach, that I tried to talk him out of it. Oh, please. Listen, you're in the clip. Like, don't you just I, wish you, you know, you're, they don't even hear me in the clip. It's you and him. I understand. Uh, all the best, Coach. I appreciate you taking the time. And, yes, I appreciate you 
reading the lyrics to my humps on a Tuesday. I don't remember how many years ago it was, but uh, let's just say it left a, an indelible mark on this show. Jay Walker, that's him. He's in studio. We've got the 8 o'clock hour. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play one one terrible tune today that, uh, you know, I just think Jay loves the song so much. We're not going to do a whole terrible tune Tuesday segment, but we will play one of the great TTTs that uh, also has left a mark, judging by things that people have told me that listen to the show. we got a whole hour in the story. Don't go anywhere. It's the great Scott Show, 103.3 The Goat, simulcast on 1420. It's The Goat, the greatest sports talk of all time.